Uh, what we're going to do in this video is do a little bit of physics, uh, kinematics specifically. Um, now, me and a friend decided to run a little experiment and measure the speed of his punch. So what we're going to do is take a look at the experiment, take a look at the video, and then come back, uh, collect some data and do the calculations. And then from there, we should have the results. We should figure out uh, how fast he punches, how fast the average human punch uh, can be, okay? So let's take a look at the experiment and then we'll come back uh, after it's done and uh, do our calculations. A few days ago, a friend and I were talking and he showed me how he, and he goes about blowing a candle with his punch. And after he did it, uh, after he showed me, I sort of looked at him and asked him how fast he ends up punching, how fast his punch is. Uh, he didn't know the answer and I have no idea how fast the punch is. So what we decided to do is set up a little experiment and measure how fast he actually punches. And so what we're going to do is uh, basically bring out a tape measure and measure the distance and measure the time and figure out how fast he punches. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do, let's do it again. The speed equation is distance over time. And we're going to measure our punch in seconds. So speed of something is distance divided by time. So first thing we're going to do is grab the distance off the video. Okay. And the distance, I've looked at this a few times, and it's approximately, whoop, that was fast, it's approximately two feet. Okay. So for the distance, we're going to put down two feet. Two feet divided by, we have to figure out how many seconds it took. Okay. Now, this isn't uh, full seconds, of course. This is going to be fraction of a second. And the speed that this uh, film is at, if we look at the properties of this thing, its uh, frame rate is 30 per second. So what we're going to do is do fractions for this. So we're going to go back again to the beginning of the punch, right? And here's the left hand going back. And what we're going to do is we're going to assume this is the punch coming in. So we're going to say, this is where the punch starts from this frame. Okay. So that's one frame, two frames, three frames, three frames. The punch is already at basically at its most, you know, the length of the arm, because as soon as you go the next one, boop, the candle is already on its way of being blown out. And in the next, in two frames over the candles out, right? So this, it takes three frames for the arm to travel from the beginning of the punch to the end of the punch. And there's 30 frames in each second, right? So the formula we have to do here, it takes three frames over 30 frames per second. And that's going to be our calculation. So this is going to be two divided by 0 0.1. And that is equal to 20. And what are our units here is 20 feet per second. So, you know, this is approximately what the punch speed is. Now, if you want to convert these to other units, um, you can take a look at series four because we will deal with converting units and stuff like this. I'm not going to go through the calculations for you here, but what we can do is do this the simple way and just go to Google and type in feet per second to miles per hour. So we're going to put feet per second here, 20 feet per second, and that comes out to 13.6 miles per hour. So 13.6 per hour, and that comes out to 22 kilometers per hour, right? And if you want to do, uh, figure out what it is in meters per second, so we had 22 kilometers per hour, so we can just go 22. 22, it come, turns out to, you know, 6.1, so 6 meters per second. And the speed in different units would have been 
um, 20 feet per second, which is equivalent to 13.6 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 22 kilometers per hour, which is equivalent to six meters per second, okay? And that's the speed that my friend punches. Now, uh, he's, uh, he, he, he's a tai, tai Chi instructor, um, and he's been doing this for a long time and does some karate, so I'm not sure if his punch is faster than the average punch, but we can assume that's approximately average punch. Uh, and that's basically math in real life, you know, doing a little physics, doing a little kinematics and measuring the speed of a punch. And the disclaimer is, if you plan on doing this, be very careful of not hurting yourself. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Oh. <laughs>